here for the 1980. Mike's still working, and good evening, everyone. We'll get things underway. We're all here for the 1988 Associated Press Broadcasters Association debate between the six candidates running for Vermont's lone seat in the United States House of Representatives. First, our candidate going from left to right, and I ask that because time is precious this evening, you please withhold applause until all the candidates have been introduced. First, we have Peter Diamondstone, the Liberty Union Party candidate from Brattleboro. Maura Searle, small as beautiful party candidate from New Haven. James Hedbor, the Libertarian Party candidate from South Hero. Paul Poirier, Democratic, Democratic Party candidate from Barry. Bernard Sanders, Independent Party candidate from Burlington. And Peter Smith, Republican Party candidate from Middlesex. Uh, Karen Conway now with a question for independent candidate Bernard Sanders. Mayor, if you would assess this argument that drugs should be legalized or at least decriminalized so we know who's dealing and the price will fall, eliminating much of domestic drug crime and so that their sale, the money from their sale can be used to, can be taxed to uh, fund treatment centers, which most people agree are desperately needed. Okay. It basically is what my view is on the legalization of drugs, is that in a nutshell what the question is, Karen? Okay. The okay. I think given the fact that the policies presently being pursued have not succeeded, the concept of the legalization of drugs is a reasonable concept to bring forward for debating purposes. I don't support it at the present time, and I'll tell you why I don't support it. It goes without saying that today hundreds of thousands of young people are having their minds and their bodies severely harmed by drug addiction. And this is mostly true, although certainly not only true, but, but significantly true in ghettos throughout America among poor people. To legalize drugs would be to say to that segment of our population that you that we as Americans, as society, have given up on you, and that it's perfectly okay for you to get high, for you to get strung out, for you to be separate from productive society, that's okay. You can get your drugs pretty cheap, and it reminds me very much as to what the British did to the Chinese in China when they ran that country. It was fine that you had millions of Chinese strung out on opium, nobody really cared, and it was to the advantage of the British. So I would recognize that right now this country is doing a horrendous job in terms of fighting drugs among young people. And the main reason is, and I have to say it's, it's a reason that people like Jesse Jackson have been talking about, is that millions of people, millions of young people, regardless of their age, have given up on the system. They look forward, they look at the years in front of them, and they don't see productive years, they don't see happy years, meaningful years, decent jobs, decent educational opportunity, providing those aspects of life is what's going to beat the drug problem. Thank you, Mr. Sanders. John Moyers with a question for Republican candidate Peter Smith. 